Hi ladies, it's Brenda here and I'm finally ready to share this project with you that I've been working on. This is a boxed calendar and this was for the design team project at Country Craft Creations in Hooper and I'm so excited to share this one with you. Everything on this project is handmade. It took me quite a while to get it done, but every single thing on this project is handmade. From the box to everything inside. Um, that's why it took me so long to get it done, I guess. So the chipboard, everything, you know, was cut, measured, just took a little bit, but I'm really, really proud of it. At any rate, Graphic 45 Time to Flourish that is the collection that I used on this project and I absolutely love it. It is so versatile. It's so easy to use. My only complaint was I ran out of paper. So I did have to bring in another paper to use um, to fill in. So that's what I papered the outside and the inside of the box. But everything that's interactive and everything on those calendars inside is all Graphic 45, a time to flourish. So let's get started. Um, again, everything's all handmade, the box, everything. Um, chipboard, I did use three pieces of the medium weight chipboard and glued them together first for the top, for the lid, and the base to give it some more strength and structure. Um, on the front, as you can see, I, I did put a, um, a transparent ribbon just to kind of, I didn't want to put too much on the outside because there's so much going on in the inside and this is a pretty heavy project. I also have a little embellished butterfly down at the bottom here and on the top I had a terrible time trying to find um, a handle. I needed a handle for this and I needed one that would be fairly flush and I looked all over town. I'm here to tell you I spent four and a half hours looking the other day and couldn't find anything, finally came home and I was getting rid of a nightstand and guess what was on the front of the, the uh, drawer. So I took that off and that's what's now on this box. <laughs> At any rate, it works great. Um, on the very bottom, of course, I always put my little, my little stamp on the bottom. As you can see, that's handmade by Brenda and I'm going to start putting the dates on it. So this was 2015 and that's what I put on. Okay, so this is the, the holder of the box calendar. All right, when you pull it out with the handle, this is what is inside. I'm gonna set the box off to the side so that we can go through this calendar. This is so cool. This is very, very usable, ladies. Um, and there's so much inside here. I used so much of that collection. I, I love it. There's 12 months, of course. All of the months are here. We'll start with January. The page flips down. I hope you can see this. The page flips down and look at all the embellishments that I have on here. I have tons of tags that you can write on, you could put pictures on. There's also a large one on this side that you can make notes on, you could put a picture on the back. Lots and lots and lots of space in here, tons of space. You can make notes on the front here. On the calendar part, there each month of course has a regular calendar. And there's no numbers on it, so you can set it up for the year that you want or the month that you want. So that I thought worked out perfect. There's ample space to write in each one of these boxes. This is January, and each and every month also has a pull-out tag. And I didn't want to just do a plain large tag, so I put the month that corresponds with the calendar on the top. And look at the size of this. You could put several pictures, you could journal on here, but I utilize this space also. Here's a pocket on this one and inside is a sweet little tag that you can journal on or you can put pictures. And then also on the outside, there's places to write and there's another little tag here that you can write on or put a picture on. 
So there's just absolutely tons of space in this. I guess this is what took me so long because once I got the pages finished and I started doing these tags, I thought, you know, I still have some embellishments and cut aparts left. I really want to use as much as I can. And I want you to also note these pages all have an eighth of an inch gusset at the bottom. These are all magnetized, so the pages snap shut, but there's plenty of space that you could, if you wanted to use this for bill storage, you could put these inside. This is like a regular little file folder. Isn't that too cool? These are actually file folders that I made. So you could put bills, you could put notes, you could put pictures, whatever in here. They snap shut, everything will stay in place. And then you have the side pocket. That's January. The cool thing, look at the graphics on this. This paper is just astonishing. Like I said, the, the quality is just bar none. It's the best. See the gusset at the bottom? And then when you flip this over to go to February, look at the back. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I, I can't say enough about this paper. This is February, and again, they all snap open and close with the magnets, the Graphic 45, uh, not Graphic 45, I'm sorry, the basic grade, large magnets. Uh, Tammy carries them at Country Craft Creation, so if you need them, go ahead and get some from Tam. Um, this is February. Again, you've got a nice calendar here, and of course, I've got embellishments everywhere. Down at the bottom, there's places to write, make notes, journaling. Here's tags down at the bottom here. And there's also a couple of them that slide in at the bottom. Oh, let me get to them here. These are so cute, so sweet. This is February. These just slide right back in this little holder. And again, you've got these other two little tags that you can make notes on. And of course, then you have the side tag, which again is loaded. This is February, huge tag. I coordinated the papers with the paper on that month. And on this one, again, you've got, I've got like these stamps at the bottom um, that will hold some inserts here. And I've got three tags on here that you can use. Aren't these just adorable? And this one you can also write and make more notes on. This, this, the quality of this, this is one of my favorite collections. I love all Graphic 45, but this has got to be just one of my absolute favorites. Again, there's just so much you can do with this. You know, you don't have to just do a, a, a mini album. Um, you can, there's just, you're only limited by your imagination. Let's put it that way. That's how much there is in this. These all again have magnets so the pages all you know snap closed so they'll hold a lot you know with them being file folders this is March of course happy St. Patrick's Day I tried to on the month um, I put at the top something that corresponds to that month February was Valentine January let's let it snow I'm sure you're like me I'm about done with that snow I'm so ready for spring so this is St. Patrick's Day. I'm trying to keep it in frame so you can see everything. Um, again, you've got the beautiful calendar with plenty of space to write in. Um, I have a tag here that has a saying, may your thoughts be as glad as the shamrocks. May your heart be as light as the song. May each day bring you bright, happy hours that stay with you all the year long. But just cute little things to just kind of make this pop. I've got some some um, of the little stamps I pop dotted on to give them some dimension. And on this, I've got a lot in here too. Here's a little tag down at the bottom, again, that you can make notes on or you could put a picture on the back. This is so awesome. Here's another little calendar area that you can make notes on. You could put pictures on this. And here's a cute little um, pocket. This is one of the cut aparts, and this is really nice quality uh, cardstock that it's on. It says spring has come when you can put your foot on three daisies. Isn't that too cute? 
And then inside, there's a sweet little tag. This I went ahead and, and just stuck this inside here. And of course, of course, of course, we have our very cool tag, our side tag for March. I've got March at the top. And again, everything on this calendars, everything on these calendars, all the graphics, that's all graphic 45 papers. Now the background on the tags though, I have to say, I did have to use another um, paper for that because I, I simply ran out of papers. I used so much, oops, sorry, of the graphic 45. I literally totally ran out. On March, this is so cool. So, so cool. There's tons of stuff on here too. And of course it has the bond, what is that? F-E-T-E? -E. I'm not French, so I have no idea how to say that. I don't want to totally destroy it. You've got your sweet, cute little belly band made from some of the adorable stamps. Got another um, area here to write and journal on. This slides through and down at the bottom. This catches it at the bottom to hold it on. Then we have another cute tag here, the top of the morning to you. I thought that was really cute. And again, this slides in. Isn't this too cute? It's like a mini little postcard, but there's plenty of space here to write on, to journal on, add a small picture. That too also fits down here. And then here's a cute little tiny tag that fits in the bottom as well. So there's not only tons on the calendar, but also I made sure that I put a ton on these side tags. So I don't care what you have that you want to put in a calendar. If you can't fit it all here, there's a problem. And on the back side, of course, you've got beautiful graphics again showing the month of March. Next we have April. April, of course, brings Easter. So that's what I put at the top. And as you can see, I've also embellished this page. Um, spring has come when you can put your foot on three daisies. I think that's so cute. I use some of the um, some of the stamps here to make another little pocket to put two cute little tags in. And on the bottom part, of course, it's embellished as well. Easter greetings and another little tag. This says April showers and have a happy day. Too, too cute. If you don't already have this collection, I'm here to tell you, you have absolutely got to try it. It is just fabulous. This is the tag that I did, the big giant pocket tag that goes in the side. April and it's springtime greetings. And this also has a nice size tag here, very vintage looking. And then you've got your nice big good size tag here that you could put a photo on, you can make notes on, you can journal on, you could journal things that happened that day or for the month. It's just I'm just so excited about this project. I've been talking about it and telling Tammy about it now for a few weeks. Um, I was running a little bit behind because I got sick. And so I've been so excited to get this done so everyone could see it. This is the backside of April. Again, whenever you put this in, when you flip it up, of course, everything is right side up so that the viewer flipping through can see everything in the appropriate the appropriate way instead of it being upside down. But the graphics are just too, too cool. Then we have May, of course. May brings Mother's Day. How pretty is that? And it says, Dearest Mother, and look at the graphics on this. Isn't that beautiful with the lavenders? Love May. The calendar, of course. And then you have a sweet sentiment over here, and then that sentiment also holds a tag. 
tons of space on this tons of space and on the bottom part we have more embellishments we've got the holder down here to hold two additional tags and I've got the little stamps that are attached on the side so that you can slip this cute Mother's Day tag in the side and of course we've got our big fat Mother's Day um, we've got our Mother's Day tag here for May this is Mother's Day fondest wishes and again this holds tons of stuff I put a lot I'm telling you what I utilized a lot of the stuff sorry for the camera shake sorry so this starts out with the big giant tag that you can journal on you can make notes on at the bottom for the holder there's two sweet sentiments at the bottom another tag here that you can journal on or add photos a postcard size tag and another really sweet cute tag here tons of space tons and tons of space in this project so if you have lots of bills notes pictures that you want to use on this calendar this is the calendar for you and it's so doggone cute isn't it beautiful this is the back see the graphics and that brings us to June June brings Father's Day when you open this we have our calendar to make our notes it says first day of summer which June also brings and we have tags inside our little um, stamps at the bottom that holds them and then of course down at the bottom here we have more area we have more tags these are hanging from the summer tag at the top and they're caught down here in a little pocket lots of room to to embellish or not embellish but lots of room to write or lots of room to make notes um, say you have something coming up for that month you don't want to put it necessarily on this calendar make a special note down here tons of space this is our large tag for June and again first day of summer and Father's Day lots and lots of stuff um, built a little holder down here using some of the uh, the smaller little stamps and here's another holder down here at the bottom we start with the large June tag these all come in that collection lady all of this stuff is in that collection do you see what I'm saying like I had to just keep using and using and using I couldn't stop there's just so much to use you won't run out of you will not run out of embellishments I assure you with this collection you won't run out of embellishments that's for June and this is the back of June gorgeous 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 and then we have July which says it's summertime and July usually gardeners are usually boy they're really in going to town by now so this has a lot to do with seeds and growing and gardening I really 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 love this paper and inside July whoa as you can see here's our calendar and I also have a couple really cute tags make memories and this one says catalog 1896 everything for the fruit grower isn't that too cool there's also some uh, how does your garden grow and a cute little tag over here the plain truth about the best seeds that grow and it says 1910 very 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 kind of retro so cool this is the other side and there here's a little tag here I thought that was really sweet and you've got two smaller tags here and I popped out it up one of the um, chipboard punch outs and that's like a little bee I put him on the flower and here is the July tag the July tag 
again, lots of cool stuff. Here's our large July tag that you can make all those cool notes. And I have that going down at the bottom. And at the bottom, I've got like I cut out from um, some of the, uh, the paper, um, the seed catalog. I thought that was pretty cool. And I really wanted to use that. And then I put Let's Celebrate. And I used this um, was also from some of the embellishment collection on there. And uh, it says, Flowers are the sweetest things God ever made. I thought that would make such a cool belly band. This slides down, and this also is a tiny little belly band at the bottom so that this can slip through and that holds that as well. I hope, I hope you guys aren't getting aggravated that this is so long, but what can I say? There's 12 months in the year, and I filled them all. This is the back of July's. Fantabulous. Love it. Next we have August. And August, of course, we have our calendar. And I have tags, wishing you, and it's got the sunflowers on it. We're well into the summer by that time. Got warm greetings, lots of sunflowers on this one. And this is the bottom part. So, so cute. You'll have to excuse my area. My space is so limited here, I swear to Pete. But look at all these embellishments I put on this. We've got our cool area to make more notes. I made a belly band and used some sweet little yellow brads to accent my sunflowers. And I also put some postage stamps on the bottom as one of the holders. We've got Hello Friend tag and again this slips right in the belly band and then we've got our stop at the bottom here to hold it. Got another tag. There's more pleasure in making a garden than in contemplating a paradise. Too cute. And another tag and yep one more. And of course our big tag that's embellished do you think I did enough embellishing? I can't help it. There's just so many cool things in this collection to use. How can you not use them all? And I didn't even use them all. I used a lot, but not quite all. This is for August, and we've got sunflowers, warm greetings, sunny days, you are my sunshine. I did a little fussy cut around the bottom part. So we've got our big August tag that slides in. We have another really nice size tag. And again, these can hold pictures. These can hold notes. Here's another cute little tag. This is the August. And then yet a smaller one. Lots and lots of space, ladies. Lots of space. These slide right back in. Very, very easy in and out, which is so nice. And the magnet, like I said, the magnet on all the pages is wonderful. This is the back for this. Beautiful graphics. And now we're at September. September brings back to school. This is what September is. September we have our awesome calendar. We have our little quote here. We've got school days popped up. Can you see that? Popped up on the bottom. And of course we have a couple tags here. And these are inside this adorable little belly band area. And on the bottom part, I've popped out it up one of the uh, chipboard pieces from the collection. And this I made two little pockets with the stamps. So the top one you can put a tag in and the bottom one also holds a tag. Then we have our large tag for September, school days and back to school. Again, lots and lots and lots of tags in this. 
tons. This is the tag. This is the large September tag. Again, I built at the bottom out of the small tags. I built a stop down there for that, kind of pyramided. This fits in here. You can put these in any way you like. There's just, like I said, there's so much space in here, so much area to fill, and everything fits in great, which is awesome. I mean, how easy have you ever seen tags, especially this big, slide in and out this easily? I was really surprised. I must admit I was a little bit worried at first when I was making it because I thought, oh my gosh, those tags are never going to go inside there. I've got so much stuff on them. But truly, no problem. It snaps shut. This is the back. Beautiful. Now we're at October. Awesome, awesome October. And of course, the Graphic 45, this time to flourish. Look at the paper on the October. It is just amazing. This is October. We've got our big, beautiful calendar. And we have a tag here. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering and fearing, doubting, dreaming, dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. Edgar Allan Poe. Got a cute little tag over here that numbers 1 through 10 with a butterfly. Can make some notes there, and it says Happy Haunting. And then on the bottom part, got tags here. It says it's frightful. And look at this adorable, adorable embellishment. Here's the tags for this. And of course, this is a pocket made with the stamps. So I've got three tags there. Then we've got the October large tag. Tons of stuff on this one, too. October says All Hallows' Eve and Boo, Pumpkin Time, Happy Haunting, It's Frightful. Got their stamp um, stop at the bottom. And, of course, a little sweet little tag over here to also use as a stop. These just slide right down the belly bands. Whoop. Right behind the stops. I need four hands. Then we have another one. And she has the pumpkin that she's carrying. There we go. And then we have another one that has the crow with the pumpkins. And then we have our sweet, cute, small one. That is October. Getting almost done. Won't be long now, ladies. This is the back of October's. Beautiful. Rich, rich, rich colors. Now we have November. November is gorgeous too. And it says live simply. That's for November. But, of course, we also know November brings Thanksgiving. This has some weight to it, I'm telling you. We have our large calendar. And we have our stop at the bottom that's a little pocket. Laugh often, love much. Autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. And in this, we have a cute little autumn tag, the year's last loveliest smile, one that has acorns and leaves. And then this is actually a little tiny pocket envelope. And inside, when you untie it, there's a little teeny tiny card. Isn't that too cute? This is the bottom part. Lots of stuff down here. 
We've got our beautiful, beautiful area to make notes on. We've got our tag holder at the bottom. We have a tag holder at the top. A little side tag. And we've got some cute, cute stamps. Isn't that sweet? Then we have our large November tag. This has a side belly band and also it has a stop on the side at the bottom. We've got our large November tag to write on, our warm greetings that slides in, and our postcard size tag that also fits in nicely. That's our November tag that again holds tons of stuff, pictures, information, and with this being a file folder that snaps closed, it holds lots of stuff as well. And everything with it snapping closed with that magnet, everything stays in place. This is the back. We've got beautiful flowers with birds and butterflies. It's gorgeous. December. We're finally at the last part. We're at December. This is December. And it says holiday time. Of course, we have our poinsettias. Inside, we have our large tag area, our large calendar, sorry, area. And of course, I built another little holder at the bottom with some of the stamps. And this holds a little calendar area that has December 25th, of course, highlighted. It says, the only gift is a portion of thyself. I thought that was rather sweet. At the bottom, this is the bottom part. We've got our poinsettia stamp at the top, and we've got Merry and Bright, Let's Celebrate, and Very Merry Christmas. We've got our large area for notes. We've got our stop at the bottom. And we've got two more tags that fit right inside that stop. And then we have our big December tag. Holiday time, merry and bright, let's celebrate. Lots of tags in this one. We use the stamps at the bottom, and I did use a belly band across the center, and a side attached little tag there. This will hold the large tag that slides down into the holders and into the stops. Our holiday wishes also slides down right behind everything. Then we have our little postcard one. And then we have our small holiday wishes. That's my dog in the background snorting it, just in case you're wondering. That's it, ladies. That's December. I appreciate you hanging in there and sticking with me to see everything. This is the back of December's. This is just, I loved doing this project. It was very time consuming. Um, it did take quite a bit of time. Lots of lots of materials, but I think it was very well worth it. You could put feet on this project if you want to. Um, I don't think it needed it. Uh, this, like I said, really has a lot of substance to it. It's heavy. It's not going to fall over because instead of a double chipboard at the bottom and top, I tripled it. Um, made a huge difference. But I appreciate you joining me in this. I hope that you liked my project. Um, I will be posting um, a lot more photos on my blog spot. And that's um, crosseyedcricketcreations.blogspot.com. So if you have a moment, stop by. Go by and see Tammy at Country Craft Creations in Hooper. And get that collection. You won't be sorry. You will absolutely love it. Thank you so much. Hope to see you again.